and welcome to episode two of my vlog series. I'm in New York City, as you can see. This is the rooftop of my apartment in Nolita. I'm not supposed to be here. We're not allowed to be up here, but I have a key. And it's a beautiful day in the city. It's not been so beautiful the last few days, so I'm very, very excited about the sun being up and the sky being so blue. And behind me, you can see. Can you actually see it from here? There. Freedom Tower. I flew in from LA a few days ago and it was kind of a long trip. I always, it always hits me when I sit on that plane and I'm like, oh, it takes forever to fly out here. America is very big. Yesterday I was doing a couple of junkets. Uh, one of them was for Smurfs. So I had to be at the UN at 9.30 in the morning, which was really hard for me because I sometimes when I travel and I get jet light, I can't sleep for days and I didn't sleep at all last night. So I had to get up at seven. I was like, oh, and I got the UN. I've never been to the UN before. So it's kind of embarrassing to say because I've been in New York since 2007. <laughs> but I went to the UN and I met with the actors and some Smurfs and they had a campaign going on. Uh, the Smurfs movie has collaborated with the UN uh, regarding the International Happiness Day. Mandy Patinkin from Homeland was there. He, I have to say, I've never met a guy so engaging and inspiring and so emotionally involved in what he's talking about. I was just like really like blown away by him. He, I mean now I'm a fan of Homeland already, but now I'm like, wow. I ended up talking to him about happiness as well. That wasn't my plan that day at all, but then because the UN had had collaborated with Smurfs about the International Happiness Day, I thought, hey, what a great theme to talk about people, what their perception of happiness is and if it actually changed when they got older. So I decided to do that. What it is today. That's a good question. My perception of happiness has changed by understanding that there are people that don't have happiness, that I have taken happiness for too much of my life for granted. I also met with Demi Lovato and Joe Manganiello, which I now can pronounce the last name of. Okay, so why does the Smurf makes us so happy, you think? Because <laughs> they're so cute. They're kind of interesting together. Joe Manganiello is so tall and she's very short. So they had to like adjust the cameras a lot because he was sitting up here and she was sitting down there. It was kind of funny. We also talked about happiness. I just changed my mind about what I was going to talk to them about. I was thinking first to talk about I don't remember what I was thinking at first. But I ended up actually talking about happiness with both of them too. Sometimes you're not always technically happy, but you're serene and you're peaceful. And um, I kind of measure my happiness in that way. After I interviewed all the Smurfs people at the Ritz Carlton, I had to run off. I had like 10 minutes to get over to the Marriott Hotel, the SX Marriott Hotel, also near Central Park. Um, to interview Jessica Chastain for The Sue Cooper's Wife. She was paired up with the director, which I never like because it's kind of you want to talk to the actor about her. You know, I like to ask personal questions and when they're paired up with directors, it makes it a little more tricky. Maybe that's why they pair them up with directors too, who knows. Anyways, she was, she's so lovely. She's so kind of fragile that I feel like if you just touch her, she's gonna, pulverize or something um, or break I don't know but um, she's beautiful and she's turning 40 next week so I asked her about that and she was super excited about it I also got a question from uh, one of you last uh, episode uh, of my most interesting interview ever and that's a really hard question to answer because I think I have so many interesting interviews or like I met so many interesting people but I have to say, maybe one of my most Im interesting in, a, in, a, in the way that it was a little surprising is my interview with Sak Galifianakis for Birdman. You can find it here on my channel. Uh, you know, when you meet comedians, and you always expect them to be kind of like silly and try and make jokes all the time. But my interview with him, he was so sincere and he was so honest and he was kind of like, you know, being very honest about his opinions about Hollywood. I think the theme. faith that people put in Hollywood and all that, I think it's all bullshit. I think it's just gross. I mean, Hollywood's a weird town anyway. It brags about itself constantly. 
And I would really recommend to watch that interview. Uh, if you know who he is and you have a relationship to him already, you will definitely get some new knowledge about him as a person and maybe as an actor as well. So, Sakalifenakis for Birdman. Watch it. I also got a few comments uh, regarding reviewing movies from you guys and uh, I never really wanted to be a movie reviewer because I have a special taste in movies. I, I don't, there's a lot of movies I don't like. So it's hard for me to review a movie if I don't like it, if I don't like the genre of the movie. I'm not like the kind of blockbuster person. So it's, and I, I don't really, I'm not really into superhero movies either. And all those, you know, adventurous movies. So I wouldn't be a good reviewer, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay away from that. And also, like someone commented that if you review movies, you can't, and then you're gonna, and then you're giving the movie a bad review, and then you have to interview the actor afterwards. That's kind of like that, that feels. Like, I, I know people do that, but I would that would make me feel uncomfortable. So no movie reviews for me. Next weekend, I am meeting the cast of going in style. I actually thought it was this week, so I'm sorry about that. But it's next week, so there's another chance to come up with some ideas of what I can do with them. They are actually paired, three of them together, which is super duper challenging for me because I, I really like to do one-on-one -on -one interviews. But three amazing big actors all together, four or five minutes, I don't know how to do that. So please help me out if you have any ideas. So we have Michael Caine, Morgan Freeman and Alan Arkin together in one room. If you have any more questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll get back to you. I read all of them, I promise you. I might not always have time to talk about all of them in every episode, but I will make sure to get back to you at one point. Next time I will be back in LA again in the summer. So I hope I'll see you then. And I'm really, really happy about all the comments that I got last time uh, and I hope I get as many this time as well and as I said I will make sure to read all of them and get back to everyone so have a wonderful week and weekend and I'll uh, hopefully see you soon bye